This video is an example of Newton's second law, F equals ma, with a ramp and with friction and with the objects connected by strings. So we have a seven kilogram object specified at rest, not moving, on a plane, inclination angle of 72 degrees up from the horizontal. Static friction coefficient 0.32, and as typical, the coefficient of kinetic friction smaller, 0.22. There's a massless string uh, over a frictionless pulley that's located at the top of the plane, and we're uh, having the 7 kilogram object tied to the 3 kilogram object by that string. The 3 kilogram object's hanging freely in the air, not touching anything, so no friction. And we want to ask three questions Does the system move? What's the acceleration? And what's the tension in the string? Uh, it's pretty obvious that as it's going to move, we're going to ask for the, these other two questions, but maybe not. Uh, but that would not be as interesting a problem, and we'll verify that the system does move here. So we'll draw a little picture, show you some equations, and uh, I'll trace down what my analysis has been. So first on the left, our picture here, and I'm going to specify that the positive direction for this seven kilogram object is down the plane, so a little plus sign with an arrow. Uh, there's going to be a component of the weight of the object directed down the plane. There's tension in the string uh, that's upward on this object. And if the object does move down the plane, then the force of friction will oppose that. So the force of friction is up the plane. This uh, little arrow up here, force of friction. On the other side, our three kilogram object hanging freely in the air and has a weight of 29.4 newtons. So to ask the question if it's moving or not, first we need to investigate the external forces acting in the system. There's 29.4 newtons of the weight here. In the direction of motion, the external force acting on the system is not mg on the seven kilogram object we have to find a component of that. That'll be the force down the plane, and mg is our hypotenuse in this triangle. The part of the mg force that we need, the component, is here. This is in the direction of force down the plane, and the angle 72 degrees at the bottom here, that's our theta, this is the same as the angle up at the top of this triangle in the way that I've drawn it here. And uh, I'd recommend drawing it this way. We have a normal force perpendicular that is the side adjacent to the angle. And we'll get that in just a minute. But right now we want this side that's opposite to the angle theta, this force down the plane. So we're using mg sine theta to find that opposite side hypotenuse times the sine of theta. And putting in the numbers, we find the force down the plane of 65.24 newtons. That's reasonable. It's less than the full mg weight of the object. The force of friction, well, if we consider this now, the uh, um, 65.24 newtons is an external force going down the plane. 29.4 newtons um, pulling the three kilogram object down. And this 65.24 newtons dominates over the 29.24 newtons. So this system is going to tend to move with the 3 kilogram object accelerated upward, the 7 kilogram object accelerating down the plane. So, so we've answered question A. Yes, the system does move. The forces, external forces, are not balanced. Then the force of friction. We're at rest right now, so we're going to use the static coefficient of friction. And to calculate the force of friction, we need the normal force. That comes into play in this short side of the right triangle here. It's the leg that's perpendicular to the plane. The normal force balances this force in my triangle as the object is not accelerating into the plane or away from the plane. So those two forces balance. So the normal force is going to be found by mg cosine theta and turns out to be 21.2 newtons. 
we're not moving, so the proper friction force to use is the static friction. They're just going to verify that we're not moving here. Um, so 0.32 times the normal force, 6.78. The question is, this is external force 65.24 newtons greater than the 29.4 plus the available friction. And the answer is yes. This, this finishes our analysis of question A. The system will be moving. The 65.24 newtons force down the plane is greater than the 29.4 newtons that's trying to pull the object up the plane and in combination with the friction force that's trying to hold the object on the plane. So let's move on to calculate the acceleration. To do the acceleration, now we're in a situation where the system is moving, so we have to use the kinetic coefficient of friction to calculate the kinetic friction force. Our net external force, still 65.24 newtons directed down the plane. Uh, the force of friction and the 29.4 newton weight of the 3 kilogram object, those are acting in the opposite direction to the 65.24, so those come in with minus signs. These forces are not cooperating altogether. The 4.66 and the 29.4 newtons are acting in the opposite sense of motion compared to the 65.24 newton force. You must subtract them. The total mass of the system is 10 kilograms. We're working on the entire system. Notice that the tension force is not part of our calculation. When we consider the whole system, both objects, the tension force is internal. We only use external force when we're analyzing the whole system. Then, uh, the net is 31.18 newtons. You should verify this with your calculator. Divide by 10 and rounding acceleration 3.12 meters per second squared. That'll be the 7 kilogram object accelerating down the plane at that rate, the 3 kilogram object accelerating upward at that rate. Now, what's the tension in the string? I'm going to focus myself, my attention, on just the 3 kilogram object. The 3 kilogram object, now this tension is external to this mass, and the 29.4 newtons, the mg. And I'm going to work this part of the problem with up being the positive direction. So the T, the tension in the string, that's an upward force acting on the 3 kilogram object. 29.4 newtons comes in as a negative. It's in the negative direction. And the total mass of this restricted system is just 3 kilograms. I'm only considering the 3 kilogram object. Its acceleration is 3.12 meters per second squared. That comes in as a positive acceleration. It's important working these types of problems. Sometimes this will be positive, sometimes it will be negative. It's important you know which direction is positive and which direction the object's accelerating. So if we uh, simplify this and by moving the 29.4 newtons to the right side and multiplying, work it out with the calculator, you should come up that the tension in the string is 38.8 newtons. That's a reasonable number. It is higher than 29.4 newtons, and we know that this 3 kilogram object is accelerating upward, so this tension needs to be bigger than this. You could also solve for the tension, sorry about that, you could also solve for the tension by uh, restricting your view to just the 7 kilogram object. We have the downward uh, force, we've got upward friction, and we have the tension in the string. It's just slightly more complicated because we're on the ramp. I prefer the uh, strictly vertical 3 kilogram object, but you'll get the identical number. You will get 38.8 newtons. If you don't, then you probably use the wrong plus or minus sign for your acceleration. So with that, uh, keep working example problems. Ask your instructor if you have questions about kinetic and static friction or F equals MA and just using net external force when you uh, analyze the whole system.